I'm here with still motion creator and choreographer Stacy Tukey. I usually introduce her so you think you can dance choreographer, but she has something coming up and we're going to talk about it right now. So we have talked about it before. Yes. Your company, you guys just started rehearsals. How is that going? Well, actually we start on Monday. Okay. So, but I've been starting like the preliminary right. work of the rehearsals and putting the company together, which is endless amounts of work. So, yes. I mean, it has started and it's coming it's coming along great. I've got a great team of dancers, great creative team, and I mean, every day there's another person that reaches out to support, so I mean, I just get so excited. Tonight, we found out who the winners were, finally. I mean, I think we were all on pins and needles, because for the first time, you honestly really didn't know who was going to win. What do you think about America's voting? Well, I mean, all of them are winners, to be, and I, I know that's so cliche to say, but really, the four of them were so strong, and all front runners, yeah. you know, in the performance, uh, you know, the performance leading up to tonight, and so I would have honestly been happy if any one of them took it. Of course, I worked with Eliana and Keon, so for me, I was like, it feels like it's like you have a piece in their journey, so you, you feel really personally attached to them, but I mean, Cyrus, where he's come from and what he stands for is so beautiful and how how many people love him I mean they're all winners they're gonna all go on to have extraordinary careers and Tiffany I mean her too I was like I just took her tonight I said I wish I would have had the chance to work with you because every time she stepped foot on that stage she got better up until tonight I mean she ever even tonight I said those routines I, I didn't think you could get better in them and you did that every single time and so the four of them are incredible but you know the two winners Eliana and Keon both being classical dancers I mean that's my route so um, it's I think it's a highlight for this show it's just it just shows that like anyone can win anyone can well you know honestly um, with the winners in the past seasons I've gotten a lot of responses from dance plug viewers they say you know if you do hip-hop or if you're not technically trained it's almost impossible to win what, what do you think about that comment well you know it is you think of for someone like Cyrus I think that he had he's climbed an uphill battle from day one um, because he's not he's not trained at all he's not he's not used to learning choreography so I think you do have a disadvantage um, but also you have the advantage of huge leaps of growth mm -hmm. and that's what happened you know for him on the show um, but then in the same regard classical ballet dance I mean if like Keon I mean that's really all he ever did so for him to like break out and do hip-hop it's just as scary so I mean there are there is definitely you know there's both sides to the story but I do think like even I mean I worked with legacy once and if you remember him he was a b-boy and so I remember thinking there's this perfect story I tell all the time when people say well he's never had a lesson or you know like Cyrus never having a lesson and it was with Catherine McCormick and I was trying to fight my battles what, how am I gonna make this position he was doing a front attitude and he was like his shoulders were up his foot was flexed and I was like oh gosh so I was like hey Stacy pick the worst thing and I went to legacy and I said hey legacy you've got to point your foot if anything the judges will catch you on that and he goes Stacy I'm pointing my foot as hard as I can his foot looked like this and I was like legacy really you're pointing your foot as hard? And I, so I go over to manipulate his ankle and I'm like it goes about there I'm like legacy look he goes oh you want me to point it to the ground I thought you want me to point it to the sky and I was like that right there shows he knew nothing about trained dancing you know and never taken a class and now I'm so happy he comes to take my class at the edge Really? yes and he is he's gets he's getting so good so that's what the show's about it's about inspiring people to dance and try things that are, are different for you and hopefully inspire some other dancers like Cyrus and other ballet dancers like Keon and Eliana and other little firecrackers like Tiffany to come out and audition for the show so you had the pleasure of pretty much working um, on So You Think You Can Dance throughout this season. How is it going to inspire your company and the pieces that you put together, or will it not? I think I'll definitely take some inspiration from this season. I mean, I really, I love the dancers I worked with. Um, I was really proud of the work that I presented, and I think it's it's a minute and a half. It's so short. Mm -hmm. So I'd love to take some of that creative spark and turn it into a five, six minute piece, you know? So I definitely think you'll see little bits or influences of. Um, I don't think I'll go for a straight copy of yeah. what I did because I think everything needs to grow and embellish but um, that's what art is right yeah. it's continually improving yourself and continually trying to expand the horizon so definitely there's some sparks from this season 